Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering frequency count method in the subject. We also call this frequency count method as step count method. The use of this frequency count method is to calculate time complexity of an algorithm. In order to calculate time complexity of an algorithm, we use frequency count method or step count method. So this frequency count method specifies number of times a statement is to be executed. There are some rules which we need to follow in order to calculate frequency count of an algorithm. First one is for comments and declarations, step count is zero. Comments and declarations are optional. They are not mandatory. So step count is zero. And for written and assignment statements, step count is 1 for example x equal to 10 this is assignment statement for this step count is 1 for example return x for this step count is 1 so for return and assignment statements step count is 1 third rule is ignore lower order exponents when higher order exponents are present if you consider this example this is time complexity in this we need to ignore lower order exponents when higher order exponents are present here higher order exponent is x to the power of 4 because power is 4 so it is higher at z square here power is 2 so exponent is 2 here exponent is y cube exponent is 3 whereas here true x to the power of 4 exponent is 4 so we need to ignore all this lower order exponents and when higher order exponent is present so we need to consider only x to the power of 4 and ignore constants here 2 x to the power of 4 where 2 is constant here 3 y cube where 3 is constant we need to ignore all those constants so here degree is o of n to the power of 4 because here exponent highest exponent is 4 so degree is o of n to the power of 4 this is an example in this example, we will calculate time complexity by using frequency count method. This is an algorithm sum of a comma n open bracket s equal to 0 for of i equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus. In this statement is s equal to s plus a of i and at last we are returning s. This is small algorithm sum a comma n where a is array. So we need to take some array of elements. So I am taking array that is 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. This is array of elements. Total there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Total there are 5 elements. So n is value of n is 5. Now I am calculating frequency count for each statement s equal to 0. I already said for assignment statements step count is 1. So for this step count is 1. Next statement is for loop. For loop that is i equal to 0, i less than n and i plus plus. This is for loop. For this we need to check frequency count. This is main condition that is i less than n where n is 5. We need to keep on checking this condition until this condition that is i less than n is satisfied. For example here I am taking i equal to 0. At first we need to take element 0 that is 0 less than 5. This condition is satisfied. Next I am taking i as 1. 1 less, than 1 less than 5, this condition is satisfied. Next 2, 2 less than 5, this condition is satisfied. Next 3, 3 less than 5, this condition is satisfied. Next 4, 4 less than 5, this condition also satisfied. At last 5 less than 5, this condition is not satisfied because 5 is equal to 5. So, this condition is not satisfied. How many number of times we perform checking? That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 times we performed checking, checking the condition. So, here n value is 5. We performed checking 6 times. So, for this frequency count is n plus 1, 5 plus 1 that is 6. So, for this particular statement frequency count is n plus 1 that is 5 plus 1 equal to 6. So, here I written n plus 1. Inside for loop there is statement. Here for loop is repeating n number of times. So, statement inside this for loop also repeat n number of times so here frequency count is n and at last return statement for return statements here we already saw for return statements and assignment statements step count is 1 so this is return statement for this step count is 1 now we will add all this that is 1 plus n plus 1 plus n plus 1 1 plus n plus 1 plus n plus 1 so total time complexity is 1 2 3 n plus n 2 n to n plus 3 here higher order exponent is n to the power of 1 that is nothing but n so degree is o of n this is how we calculate time complexity next we will calculate 
space complexity for this algorithm. First I am checking how many alphabets are present in this algorithm that is 1 that is A, N, S and I. Array contains n number of elements. So, here in array there can be n number of elements. So, here I took A as n value of A as n. Similarly, n n equal to 5 for equal for equal to statement step count is 1. So, n is 1 and s is 1 and at last i value of i is 1 total n plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is n plus 3 here higher order exponent is n to the power of, power of 1 n to the power of 1 is nothing but n. So, here degree is o of n space complexity is o of n both space complexity and time complexity are same for this algorithm. This is another example here we are calculating frequency count for a square matrix. We all know square matrix, square matrix is nothing but number of rows is equal to number of columns that is n cross n where n is rows and n is columns. So, size of matrix is n cross n or n square. So, algorithm add a comma b where a and b are two matrices and where n denotes size of matrix. This is statement inside this for i equal to 0, i less than n, i plus plus. Inside this, there are two statements that is for of j equal to 0, j less than n, and j plus plus. And at last, c matrix equal to a matrix plus b matrix. This is simple algorithm. We already saw in before example for for loop frequency is n plus 1. We already saw in this example for this particular condition frequency count is n plus 1. Here also there is same condition that is i less than n. So, frequency count is n plus 1. Here loop is repeating n number of times. So, statements inside n loop also repeat n number of times. Here also loop is repeating n number of times. So, statements which is inside this for loop also repeat n number of times. So, value is n and n because there are two statements for this value is n and for this statement also value is n and here there is another condition this is also for loop for for loop with this condition j less than n frequency count is into n plus 1 same this condition also repeated here so here also n into n plus 1 this is n plus 1 that is n square plus n now we need to add all those values that is f of n equal to here I will write n plus 1 plus n square plus n plus n that is n square plus 3n plus 1 here highest exponent is 2 that is n square so 2 is highest exponent so time complexity is o of n square degree is o of n square this is how we calculated time complexity. Similarly, we need to calculate space complexity. Total there are three matrices that is A, B and C. A, B and C. And there are three values that is N, I and J. N, I and J. N, I and J are assignment statements. For assignment statement is nothing but equal to statements. For example, I equal to 1, J equal to 1. All these are equality statements. So, here frequency count for these three is 1. n is 1, j is 1 and i is 1. And a, b, c are square matrices. Square matrices contains n number of rows and n number of columns that is n into n that is n square. So, frequency count for a is n square, b is n square and c is n square that is total 3n square plus 3. Here highest degree is 2. So, space complexity for this is O of n square.